from the streets in Atlanta. It's the uh, blockbuster hit of the summer. To the theater district of New York City. Non-stop action throughout the whole thing. To the multiplexes of Los Angeles. Hey, I believe it. <laughs> I think it could happen. <laughs> is a believer. I mean, it's a huge universe. There's got to be something else out there. Uh, three for Independence Day. Independence Day has invaded American theaters. The 7.30 Independence Day is sold out. Sold out signs mean a brisk business for scalpers who are reportedly getting 20 bucks a ticket. This theater employee says people will do just about anything to get inside. I've had, like, people offer me to, like, bribes to get them in just so they can go in the front of the line. I'm like... You know, there's not much I could do about that. The U.S. government says there's little we could do about an alien invasion. It seems we're basically unprepared for an attack from the outside. Thank goodness Independence Day is only science fiction. Well, one fact is sure, this movie has captured the national psyche like none before. Because of a combination of slick marketing, the four-day holiday weekend, and our obsession with UFOs, ID4 could end up being the top grossing movie in history. No surprise to psychologist Dr. Joyce Brothers. Whenever life gets complicated and difficult, we escape into science fiction, which deals with our fears in a safe way. It's a real thing. A radio signal from another world. ID4 makes reference to a real-life possible encounter, the same one these ET believers came to remember in Roswell, New Mexico this weekend. The alleged 1947 crash of a spacecraft became known as the Roswell incident. Well, it's uh, real fun to believe in. You know, I don't know for sure. Yes, I do believe in them. And after this weekend, so do millions more. Time's up. So, Libby, what do you make of this whole alien craze, anyway? <laughs>